Hello, my name is Patrick Greaves from Birkbeck College and this is my poster on predicting the pro-longevity or anti-longevity effect of model organism gene with subgraph embeddings of the gene ontology. The work I've done has been in collaboration with Drs. Carl Barton and Sen Wan, also of Birkbeck. Now this part of the poster defines the terms of the prediction task. So we want to predict the pro or anti-longevity effect of genes on four model organisms. Now, a pro-longevity gene is one whose decreased expression reduces the lifespan and or whose overexpression extends lifespan. An anti-longevity gene is the inverse of this. The four model organisms for which we're going to predict uh, are the worm, the fly, the mouse and the yeast. This part of the post considers what we can use to generate features for the genes. Now, we use the gene ontology and we define this is representing the known relationships between gene functions, where gene functions and nodes of a graph arranged as a hierarchical directed exit-click graph. On the left, we have exam an example of the subgraph of the gene ontology, um, which is an ancestral subgraph of the GO term representing uh, the bounding membrane of an organelle. And on the right, uh, we draw out this idea of a hierarchical DAG, where, the, where it's uh, arranged in a generalization to specialization manner from the root term to the leaf terms. The key idea of all this is that if a gene is annotated by one go term, by virtue of the relationships in the gene ontology and it being a hierarchical DAG, it is also annotated by all the ancestors of that go term. In the next part of this poster, we note that we can generate two different types of features using the gene ontology. The first, and on the left, are binary features which explicitly seek to capture the hierarchy of the gene ontology. We generate these binary vectors for each gene as demonstrated by denoting all the annotating go terms and their ancestors with one, otherwise they're zero. Note that the binary vector's length is the number of go terms that annotate all the genes in the gene set and their ancestors. Second, and on the right, we can use node embeddings which uh, have successfully generated features for nodes from graphs for downstream machine learning tasks like the one we're about to do. Um, they do so by casting the nodes of the graph into a vector space according to some similarity measure. Now this is demonstrated in the slides and, and well, the poster and the geometric relations in the embedding space are supposed to capture some similarity or neighborhood relationship between these nodes. Given this, we now propose that a method subgraph to vec. Now, this aims to combine node embeddings that have been generated and also preserve the hierarchy of the directed acyclic graph, uh, in this case, the gene ontology. So, given a, a previously generated set of embeddings for each term in the gene ontology, and given a set of gene ontology annotations for each gene, we want to combine the go term embeddings and yet preserve this hierarchy, hence subgraph to vec. So, given these embeddings already generated, we first back propagate from the annotating genes to create an ancestral subgraph. Then we create this almost virtual node to summarize this ancestral subgraph by averaging across each dimension of the node's embeddings that are in this ancestral subgraph. Notice in this diagram, the ones and zeros will correspond to the binary, uh, the binary features that we have already generated. So it, can, it combines these node embeddings with the binary features. In the final part of the poster, we demonstrate the results of using subgraph to vec based embeddings to predict gene longevity class. Um, we compare the performance with the binary features to see how well subgraph to vec embeddings can capture the hierarchy of the gene ontology. We also use features which combine subgraph to vec embeddings with binary features to see if the embeddings uh, can capture some more informative information on top of binary features and improve the performance. The node, to, the node embedding methods used were node to vec, which is a very popular and successful method, and the go. go specific antivec. Um, the embeddings were all of 128 dimensions and for the prediction text we used a support vector machine, performed tenfold cross-validation and a grid search over the uh, over hyperparameters. This grid search and evaluation was 
performed for geometric means and average precision. In terms of geometric means, the um, best performing features were subgraph based overall for model organisms, which is very promising. Notably, note of X subgraph embeddings considerably outperformed other, other uh, features in the mouse data set. The average precision uh, had a similar story, except that for the worm data set, binary features just edged it. But overall, uh, results suggest that this technique to be promising in combining node embeddings and capturing the hierarchy of the gene ontology and eventually then generating features to predict the longevity class of genes for model organisms.